All right, we want to welcome in Villanova coach Jay Wright. And Jay, we do this every year, well, except for last year, right, Jay? So I want to start off by asking you just how meaningful and rewarding it is to actually be able to play in the NCAA tournament this year. You had guys like Sadiq Bey last year who didn't get to experience that. It is, John, there, there's a unique gratefulness and appreciation this year to be able to play in it that it's different than any other year and you know we're looking around at our team even though we have freshmen and sophomores like they they didn't they've never played in the NCAA tournament we've only got three guys now on this team that have played in an NCAA tournament or experienced the selection Sunday. Wow now you're facing Winthrop and of course it is the 5-12 matchup and there's already experts and people that are picking the 12 seed right and Winthrop has the second best winning percentage in division one. So with all of that, do you use that as motivation with your guys? It, we, we can't really, because we, we tell them, you know, when we're, when we're a one seed or a two seed and all this stuff, we tell them, don't listen to that stuff. So we tell them, don't listen to it when they're saying how good we are. We can't listen to it when they say how bad we are either. So, but it is a, this is the classic five twelve. We, I don't think we can hide that from them because you know, Winthrop's 23 and one, and they won their regular season. They won their conference championship. They got a six, seven point guard. He's got three triple doubles. No one else in college basketball has done that this year. So we know how good they are. We understand why people are picking that, but we, we got to control, we control them and be ready for them. Yeah. And, and how about like for you guys as a team this year, is it more about how you guys play? Because obviously you're, you're learning to play without Colin Gillespie and you had the injury. Uh, with more so you're adjusting to that as well is it more about how you're adjusting to play definitely john you know like we we obviously did not want to lose to to georgetown but we lost up here in new york on thursday and 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 you know we we i thought we we played pretty well without without colin and we, we started to learn what we have to do and then we, we lost but we're stuck here in new york and these poor guys got to be with me now every day we, we practice, you know, and, and we watch film and I feel like we're getting better and, and understanding what we got to do without Colin. So I think we'll go into this as a confident team. Are you uh, shooting free throws in the ballrooms there in the hotel? <laughs> that, that's part of it. That was part of it. We're practicing in basketball city up here and they have lots of baskets and we practice our free throws. Do you know what condition Justin Moore is going to be in? Now you have an extra couple of days. You got, you know, Friday is your game. So, uh, what percentage do you think he'll be at by then? I do, John. We, we you know, we gave him a couple of days off after our game. He, you know, he, he gave us a good effort during that game. He wanted to play. Our trainer said he probably couldn't hurt himself anymore. And uh, he gave us a good effort, best shot he had. And then we gave him a couple of days off. And then today he practiced. So I think by the time we'll have tomorrow off because of travel, and then we have to, we have protocols. We might have another day off in Indianapolis um, because of testing and, and, and um, protocols. But I think by the time we play Friday, he'll be 100%. Do you have a, a gut feel about this team? Because you started obviously 11 and one, and you've lost your last four games on the road. You lose Colin Gillespie. I mean, what is your feeling in your gut going into this tournament? You know, I, I have a, a, a deep appreciation for these guys. It, it is definitely different than any other year. Like, I don't have a great feel for what we're going to do every night <laughs> because, you know, we've just been all over the place as most teams have this year, you know? So I, I do know they're very focused. I do know we, I feel like we are organized and confident playing without Colin now, even though we lost a couple games without him. I think we've had enough time together, enough two games, practices. I think we'll be confident and I think we'll, we'll execute well and be much more um, efficient, I think, without Colin. And I think our guys feel good about that going into the tournament. This year, we have seen a casual Jay Wright. Uh, I missed the suit game. So do you think that that comes back next year? Because that's one of the things that come, comes out of this pandemic is that all the coaches, NBA, college, they're not wearing suits. I personally like it, man. I, I what? Mean, I do. I, you know, I'll wear a suit if I go to a nice dinner or something. You know, you and I go to an event. And I'm happy to wear a suit. But on the sidelines, man, we're, you're, you're sweating. The guys are sweating on you. You're running up and down. I, we should be wearing coaching gear. I, I like it. I, 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 don't, I don't miss the suits at all. But then you'd be giving up the, the, the best dressed, most stylist, <laughs> stylistic head coach in college basketball. Hey, man, you, got, you guys gave me that. I'm, I'm not going to argue with you, but I, I'm not going to miss that. Trust me. <laughs> Before I let you go, Jay, I wanted to let you know something personally. And I think you've probably gotten letters like this uh, during the pandemic. 
a lot of older people, my mom couldn't go anywhere. She couldn't go anywhere. Nobody could come in her house. The one thing she wanted to do every time Villanova basketball was on, she record it. Sometimes she'd even play it the next day. I don't know how in a Twitter world you can wait till the next day to watch a game, but I wanted to <laughs> let you know that you guys meant a lot to a lot of people during this whole time. That's really nice, John. I'd, I'd love to meet your mom. That's very cool. And I, that's one thing I learned during a pandemic. We, we did a, 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 a Zoom one time and with nurses and doctors. And I said, you know, the nurses and doctors should be the ones recognized, not people in sports. And we've learned how important they are. And a couple of the nurses said to me, well, you know what? We're in the ORs all day and we're in the emergency rooms. But when we come home, that's kind of our release. So we, we really do appreciate what you guys do. And it, it, it made me feel good. And I, I get that now. And I, I, I didn't realize that before the pandemic. Yeah. Well, that's great. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you do realize it. And we wish you the best of success here in the tournament. Thanks, buddy.